creator, maker of the heavens and earth. We thank you for all the wonderful blessings and what you bestowed upon us in this life and in the hereafter. Ask that you forgive us for all our sins. We forgive those who sin against us. Be with each and every brother and sister all over the world, all living species, those lost, found, incarcerated, those free. Anything that's uplifting to anybody today that come from me, let it be for, to you and from you alone. And anything that triggers anybody or make anybody upset, let me be fully responsible for it, me and the shaitan. I mean. I mean, I got the chills. All right, it's Hot 97, number one for hip hop is Titi Torres. And of course, it is a takeover with Kevin Gates. What a beautiful opening, Kevin. I've never had an artist um, do an opening prayer before an interview. I, I love that energy. Amazing. Thank you for that. It's not me, it's God. Speaking yeah, through you. I don't even like to say that, but because I'm not perfect. Yeah. I make mistakes. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the creator. I'm just in a relaxed state right now. I had worked out this morning. I feel just really relaxed. Mm -hmm. Peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. But I think God understands that we all are humans, and I think we're on this earth. I can be honest with you. Yeah. I'm human-like. Mm. Speak to that a little bit more. I mean, it's what it is. I'm human like. Mm. But I could do things that mere mortals can't do. Mm. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm better than nobody. It just means that I'm here to a greater responsibility. Yeah. That's why my consequences always be more severe than mere mortals. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. I understand. I understand that to a, a to a level. Um, I understand for, for me, how I visualize it is that, you know, we're all put on earth for a greater purpose and it's, it's up and time defines that purpose. I asked to come here hmm. to this dimension. I asked really? so that I could be better than the angels. Wow. I asked so that I could be elevated and ranked. Hmm. The angels, the El Malico, that's really the name for them. Angels, that's just some shit that like on the wall, white wings and all that. They don't mm -hmm. even look like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't even know why I'm saying this right now. Like, I don't even talk like this, but it just came out. So I'm just going to. Because it's beautiful. Do you feel the beauty? Sometimes you feel when you get impulsed, it don't be the message for you. It be for somebody else to hear. So it may be somebody that just needed to hear that. I don't know. I mean. Anybody who listening who feel like it's fictitious in nature, please don't believe me. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I'm winning. Yeah. But I I I love the fact that you're not um fearful to speak in that sense. You know, whether people I, understand it I or not. I have to or I'm gonna get sick. Mm, physically. Yeah, my throat chakra gonna clog up and it's gonna affect my vessel mm -hmm. if I don't speak. The truth. Mm. Yeah. I didn't even want to say that just now, but it's just what it is right now. But I understand it. I understand it from a um, spiritual sense. I really, I really understand it. So I get it. Now, do you believe in the power of God, or do you believe that God is fictional, or, or do you believe in in that? I know there's a God. Mm. I don't believe in shit. I know that there's a God, but a lot of pastors get mad with me when I say that God not just a man sitting on the throne like King Dingaling with the biggest dick in the world. That's not God. Mm. God is a man and a woman. Together, they are one. They are they one. They are the creator, the holy divine energy and the sacred masculine energy together. I believe in that. our creator. I mean, it, it's just Mother Earth, Father, Sky, everything has a part in it. I mean... Like, what gets me, what I don't understand is how can people not believe? It's beautiful that they don't. I wish I didn't. I wish I could be like like how Neo was stuck in the matrix and just walking around having fun, everything hunky door, because once you walk this path, it's impossible to go back and try to do the shit that you've been doing. I mean, I try, but I don't really fit in. Because it's like once you know you're you're awoke, you 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 know better, you do better. When you are in this universe, I've not been to heaven. Hmm. 
I've been to heaven before, or what people call heaven. Describe what that's like. The scariest thing in the world. Really? Yep. Hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the gravitational pull, when you there, it forced your face on the ground. Hmm. Every every head shall bow and every tongue shall Shall confess. We not talking about that Jesus Christ shit. I ain't talking about that shit, that Mm. Bible shit. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. I ain't talking about that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about really seeing God. Mm. Like, I'm not talking about Jesus Christ being God. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about when you sit with your creators. Mm. Wow. But I'm not saying Jesus Christ in a negative way because my Muslim name is Jesus, Isa. Yeah. So may peace be upon him, but I'm not talking about you no know, polytheistic religion. I'm talking about one God. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. So, so yeah, one God, one creator. So when you had that experience, were you conscious? Did you feel every Just bit like of that? it's realer than me and you sitting in this room. I ain't talking about no I did drugs and went off and had a vision. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about from me, my body, right there. Yeah. At the throne of God, I, two days in a row, this happened to me. Wow. During that time when I was fasting. Mm. First I... time I was there, I saw it was like ambassadors from every species. That's why I don't just say our brothers and sisters and our living species, because it was like every living species. I seen things that could have killed me, crushed me, but they were scared. Mm. They had they head by. I never saw what they looked like. I just saw like the silhouette of it mm-hmm. and I was scared to death because yeah. it was new I ain't understand it yeah and the second time I went they had lifted up and I sit where they were sitting mm. and it was like they had bestowed a responsibility on me and what was that responsibility to live in my spirit and truth yeah I'm not perfect I make mistakes every day and I'm gonna make a bunch of new mistakes tomorrow but that's the mission to help people yeah. The silent workers of compassion. Mm. And what does that look like for you, like helping people? What with... you seeing right now. Mm. Yeah. It's people that have been through all kind of trauma. Just me speaking about my molestation and how it made me very violent. And any time a predator that I catch one, I'm trying to do you something. It, it, it like why? Like it talk. I, I, I talked about that publicly. I ain't never. That ain't nothing no man talk about. Yeah. But since I talked about that, people come up to me and cry every day. Yeah. I went through the same thing. Do you know how many people in our community suffer in silence? Yeah, I was suffering in silence, but I was suffering in silence from a lot of things because they program you not to talk. Yeah. They program you not to speak on it. Yeah. They program you from a from a child. But that's just like most. Chosen ones, indigo children, like special people go through that because pedophilia is a spirit. That's the way they abstract energy. Mm. That's like they got women that practice siege of magic. Like if I release my semen in her womb, it'll stay alive three days. She could will whatever she want into existence off the power of my life force. Off that, off that energy. Yeah, because I'm Paul. It's interesting, it's interesting that you or, I don't know why I'm saying all this stuff. It just kind of no, but I understand it. I understand it probably in more ways than you than I can probably express it to you. Um, I remember going through a fast many years ago, and I don't speak about this a lot to a lot of people because they don't really understand it. And I felt the God's presence, like like I can see, I can touch. I felt that spirit in a way that was just comforting. And understanding what that responsibility is when you know. Like the Holy Spirit that people be talking about, that's you. Your spirit is holy. Mm-hmm. It was created by God. God is the creator. Yeah. I want to pray to who Jesus prayed to. He prayed to God. Absolutely. Do you believe in having to go through Jesus in order to get to no. Christ? Because the first, the ten people that that subscribe to the Bible, the Ten Commandments say you should have no other God but one. Mm-hmm. And Proverbs eight, she say, "I wisdom was here before the earth was. I was with God, 
she say, I, and daily I was his delight, and we were one. Master craftsman, wisdom, a woman. She spoke, the, I mean, the sacred, holy, divine, um, the holy, divine femininity. She said we was one. Mm -hmm. When a man marry a woman, they become one. They become one. And they asked Jesus Christ, because I used to be conflicted because my mom a Christian, a Catholic, whatever they found, like my grandmother and them Catholics and all that, and my, my daddy, he a Muslim, so I was conflicted. So I had to read about it. And they asked Jesus, they asked him, um, did he did he come to do, a, do away with the old law? He said, no, I kind of fulfilled it that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So if he said that, then they asked him countless times, like, good master, could you tell us how to get to, how you, why you call me good? It's nothing good but one. One. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was, he was born of a virgin because it was a miracle. That was a miracle. That was the power of God. God. He did nothing yeah. without God's permission. And then people always never listen at this part. They, he said, you all would do greater things than that. Cause this power will come from the Creator, from the Father. Mm. So, you know. Did you have? Was they got it, people doing way greater shit than that. Yeah. You would just call it magic and all that. They got people that heal the sick. They got people that do that. Our grandmothers go outside, you know, put their hands on you, you know, pray over pray you, pray know, over all you all these the time. Things, you know, yeah, the same things he did. I didn't watch old people do like. So, I mean, people could say I'm I'm crazy, I'm weird, I don't care, I'm winning. I don't yeah. care. I'm not indoctrinated. But you don't you don't you don't subscribe to no. those philosophies. No, I believe in God. Right. So like I, so I don't believe in all that old extra shit. I just believe in God. I know what I saw. I know what I see. Mm -hmm. like, to get to this level that you're at, did, was there a process for you of surrendering for you to say, okay, God not, not eating is surrendering. Yeah. I just was always taught that when I want something, like really, really bad, I don't eat, I fast mm -hmm. and just pray. My grandmother taught me how to fast, don't eat nothing. Don't tell nobody what you're doing, keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. And fast. Yeah. The power is in keeping the secret. Yeah. Because you, it's, it's, it's the discipline. Place. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with no discipline. No. I am not, my, me by myself, I can't. Go three days and without eating, but with the power that the Creator gave me to be closer, mm -hmm. then you know I can go. So how did you, how did you know? Okay, this is my purpose and music. I don't know my purpose. I don't. I just found my mission, and once a man meets his mission, he and his mission become one. Cause I done did all the fucked up shit you could think about doing. Mm. The fucked up shit people trying to do, I done forgot about. Because I done did it already. Mm -hmm. I done been a crash dummy, a goofy. I done been everything you could think of. So, like, I, I speak from experience mm. when I talk. Yeah. I don't see the world how everybody else see the world. Mm. That's why, like, when people, like, the most offensive thing somebody could tell me is that I'm black. Because mm -hmm. that's not what I am. I don't subscribe to that indoctrination. What do you subscribe to? I mean, African people come from Africa. Mm -hmm. So Chinese people come from China. Ain't no continent called black. Yeah. Like, we are the indigenous people to this land. Like, this land, the pyramids here are hundreds of years older than the pyramids in Egypt. This was the new world to the people that just came over here. Mm -hmm. We was always here. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I believe in that. How did you find your love for music? Where did that Where did that come from? I grew up in a musical household. Like my mom had me at a young age, and all my aunties and they used to listen to music at the house. When I was little, I used to be. Uh, I got pictures of me when I was a kid throwing up like the West Side sign, <laughs> like all Tupac and shit. You said that you get a lot of calls from people from jail about this song. It was so inspirational. You cried. That's all of my music, though. I cry in a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. I ain't no tough guy. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I, I exhibit vulnerability. It takes greater courage to exhibit vulnerability than, than it do to walk around being tough because we know you faking. Like a real gangster ain't too hard for themselves. A gangster going to be a gentleman. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Like when you see dudes that really put in work, they don't be walking around with their face tooted up all the time. Mm-hmm. Because it just is what it is. It's understood. Mm. It's a it's a it's a spirit that go with this. Think, Everybody in the room feel it right now. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. Why do you think so much men in our culture carry? I that? don't know, but I can't speak for other men, man. I yeah. can only be speak, speak for me. Yeah, because I'm from down south. Like other people, be city slick. They just talk good as a bitch. Mm-hmm. We country quick. We don't talk good as a bitch. We go off vibes. We go off energy. Mm-hmm. It's a heavy energy that we have. To where we don't even care what you say. We'll sit there and play stupid with you because we're not gonna reveal the secrets of the universe mm-hmm. to you. Yeah. Because you're not ready for it. We don't cast our pearls to the swine. Mm-hmm. But we'll sit there and listen that you talk good as a bitch. But you got to put actions behind that. Cause yeah. what you utter with, what I utter with my mouth, my actions must prove. Mm. Yeah. So it's just we just and I when I say you, I'm generalizing. Yeah, no, I get so it. So we we like spiritual people gonna sit back and see and, and we go off vibes and we go off the energy and that's what we going off of. We ain't going off nothing else. Mm-hmm. So that's just where I'm at with it. I can't speak for it. We taught to mind our business. Yeah. We taught to see and don't see him. But I think it. I think it's a such a positive moment for people who may have suffered a level of trauma and not understanding their suffering or why or why this happened to me. The greatest teachers teach without teaching. I'm teaching mm-hmm. the world. You are. All they gotta do is pay attention. Now, if they ridicule me and don't want to accept it for what it is, because the ones that know what's happening with me and who I am, they know what's up with me. Mm-hmm. So, but the ones that don't, it's cool. Mm-hmm. They just agents of chaos. Mm. It's just they not a bad thing. You have to be tested in order to reach spiritual divinity. Anyway, in order to, in order to have a testimony, you got to go through a test. Mm-hmm. So it's not we not tripping on them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know how to make them behave. You know, it ain't even <laughs> it ain't even physical no more. Yeah. It's spiritual now. Like people want to like like people laugh and snicker when I say, you know, I just pray. I don't have security anywhere I go. I be by myself. I just pray. Because no weapon form shall prosper. They never said the weapons wouldn't be formed. But don't nothing ever happen to me. Y'all getting punched down and beat up and kicked in the ass. And, you Shot know, y'all got securities and everything around y'all just be negative and low vibrational energy. Not a bad thing. You just on a different end of the spectrum. Because I was on that end of the spectrum one time. Mm-hmm. That's the low vibrational path. I done did that. Mm-hmm. Slumlord, you know, <laughs> low vibrational energy. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad thing. It's just the low vibrations. Mm-hmm. Then they got the high vibrations. Mm-hmm. And you can't have one without the other. Yeah. You got to go if through you can't it. Look, I like, that's like, if, like, like people, the, the term of demons. Like, I, the people want you to believe a demon is a lead creature that walk around in the room when you sleep. That's not no damn demon. A demon is the people, your family members and shit, the low vibrational motherfuckers, the people. Yeah. They just don't like you for no reason because you got that glow. Mm Mm-hmm. Or they're envious, right? Of of your birthright. mm Mm-hmm. Of your vibration. They know what's up. They know who they are. Like, it's just that we don't be knowing who we are. Mm-hmm. Um, I like demons though. You know they cool. You know everybody say that, that I'm, I'm on demon time. Like what the fuck? That's I don't cool. Want... <laughs> that's cool. Now that's the new thing. I'm on demon time. Yeah. I'm not on demon time. Yeah. At all. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, you know. You know why? Why? You never gonna catch one of them by themselves. They not connected to no source. That's all that mean. They low vibrational, so they feed off the energy of others. They running packs. Mm. That's all they do. I'm on demon time, man. That shit just that shit sound good, but mm. you get in my way, I'm gonna pin you to the floor. Mm. To go back to the music, the album you named after your son. Yes, um, ma'am. Talk to me about that. Um, my son learned through edutainment. Mm. Like my son don't learn through sitting straight at the at the desk and just looking. Mm-hmm. And you sit there like a zombie and just, just write this shit. That's it's like a re-education program. You know, gorillas don't send their children to get trained, but to get to, to go to school with the polar bears. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a great ape out here, so I teach my son the way that my grandfather taught me, mm-hmm. how to hunt, how to fish. You know, my children know different languages. They know our language that's native to our tribe. Mm-hmm. You know, they know the language that, that, that we spoke in slavery, mm-hmm. to talk around the master. You know, my children know this. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's the vibrations where most people can't even catch it. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, so it's just different with me. Yeah. Tell, uh, talk to me about... It's sacred. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. No, I... I never I, talked about this in no interview. You know, it's so interesting. Before I came here, I was in my car riding down, and I said to myself in the car, I said, I want a different interview with Kevin today. I said that. She, you got it. I said, you know, I watched what you, you were it. doing on on social and virally, and I said, I I literally said I did not want that interview. Didn't I say that, Ty? And and to my what team, what kind of interview? I just I I just watched everybody ask you these, you know, different questions like and di- questions? just sexual and like just people be talking to me about sex because. They really want to live out their fantasies vicariously through me because pussy is very prevalent in my life. I mm-hmm. had to check a woman addict out first anyway because I'm not about to just give you my energy. Like, mm-hmm. like no, I don't even release semen, so what the fuck? Do, do you believe in one, having just one? What? One woman, one lady, one wife. I would love that. Mm. I would love to have just one that's going to hold me accountable and make me hold myself accountable. And not going ain't gonna be. If she need to do business, she know how to be masculine, but then be submissive to her man. You know where she weak, I'm strong. Where I'm where I'm weak, she's strong. I could lay in the bed and just cry in her arms. Be that, be vulnerable. You know, I'm vulnerable anyway. Mm-hmm. Can you do that with your wife now? Who? All those things with the lady you're with Can now. Can you do that with the person you with? Um. Yeah, I feel like I can. Have you ever done it? Do you do it? Is I do it. Practice. I do it. Oh, well, that's a beautiful thing. I that, do it. What you got going on? That's beautiful. But yeah, though, I want that though. That'll be beautiful. It took time for me to get to that, to that space. It ain't gonna take time with me. I'm gonna know when that part when I'm in front of it. I'm gonna know that that's that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna know. So I gotta just keep on becoming the best version of myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because when it's that time, the great reuniting is going to take place in the world with Val Williams. I love it. It's, it's going to be your, It's going to be your exact reciprocal. Ain't no settling going on. It's going to be, you're going to know what it is when it's in front of you. It's going to be undeniable. It's going to be without a doubt a contradiction. Mm-hmm. It's going to be glorious. Most people, people never get that. Because mm-hmm. we settle. We get stuck in the lesson, I'll say. Because everything that appears in our life, good or bad, is a great teacher. Mm-hmm. And when you say we settle, we settle for, do you think we settle for what's comfortable? I don't be meeting nobody that's really just with their life partner, like they real soulmate. Like you didn't, y'all didn't, you didn't manifest this. Like, I know a lot of couples that y'all not even happy. Y'all just. People either grow together or grow apart. Y'all not happy. This y'all make it look good for social media. How how do how do you think you'll know? See it down inside. You won't admit you now. Well, laying on side of somebody, wishing it was somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. I feel like you gave. It's it's like a it's like a teacher that came to teach a class today. That's what I feel like. Not me, cause I didn't even. I don't even like talking like this. This shit scared me to even talk like this. But it was just. Something just made me just say this. So somebody probably needed to hear this. Whoever think I'm lying, that's cool. I'm, I don't have to rap today. I could stop today, and I'm going to still live how I'm living. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about this material shit. I only wear this because I have a brother that was murdered named Mazzy, mm-hmm. and he loved jewelry. I only wear jewelry for him, mm-hmm. like as an honor for him. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. The only mm-hmm. thing I ever promoted on my Instagram, if you really go back and think about it, was God and my family. I never showed none of my cars. I never showed none of that shit. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. I never right. showed it. I just started letting the world get a glimpse of what I got going on. Mm. And that's just for, like, to help people. It's healing. I don't show no big houses. I don't show none of that. I show the land, the earth. The earth is our mother. She was here long before. She'll be here long after we leave. Mm. She's holy. She's sacred. Mm. We beat the earth up every day. We are parasitic in nature. We take and take and take and never give back. Mm. That's just people. Mm. They're parasites. Greedy people always get but never have. Mm. Less is truly more. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's truly more. Less is truly more. Mm. Because when you got too much, you ain't got room to receive your blessings. Your class are full of bullshit. Wow. I never really so I had to cut like people that. off. Every day I get up, I'm ready to just cut people off. All the, I'm ready to throw away all the wrong relationships for all the right reasons. You could be my mama. I do not care. I'm on my mission. If it doesn't, if it doesn't serve his soul, they, they it's gotta not go. Right. I'm, I love you, but I don't want to talk to you no more, mm. ever in life. I don't, cause it's vexating my spirit, mm. and it's to a point right now that since I didn't got conscious of my energy, if I'm around negative, draining energy, I get sick. My nose start running and shit. Mm. And I be asking, man, what's wrong with me? That like, nothing. You ain't got no symptoms. My energy low. Mm. Stress is the leading cause of sickness and cancer. It really is. So if I go to a restaurant and the energy not right, I leave. Mm. Mm. It's just me. I ain't got time to be playing. Yeah. Like I don't. I just don't have time to be playing. Like any woman that come around me, you gonna be exposed. Mm. You gonna expose yourself because I only eat one meal a day. A woman tell me, yeah, I'm on that, but now you having headaches and all that. But the reason you having headaches and all that because your body not used to this type of detoxing. You probably have caffeine, withdrawal from caffeine dependency deficiency. So that's a person that stopped drinking sodas, mm -hmm. they get sick because mm -hmm. your body is dependent upon it. Yeah. Like processed sugar, your body is dependent upon it. So if I get up at 4 in the morning and go to the gym and work out, it's going to show that this woman not in tune. We not in alignment spiritually or energetically. So now I done became her coach. I'm taking away from my mission to bring her to where I'm at. Come on, man. I'm going to meet something that's going to, we're going to be there and we're going to go further. Mm. That's how it's going to go if it's meant to be. Mm. What's meant to be is meant to be. Yeah. Nah, I stamp some of this shit on the, on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I, I, I do charity work. You know, I, ish, you know, I do charity work every now and then. I might issue a little dick out, you heard me? But you know, that ain't just my focus in life. Yeah. I could kill this. Like, I'm not drinking water for no woman. Like, I'm not thirsty. Yeah. Because what can you give me to make me better? Because if I want 310, however many, I can have any woman I want right now. Mm -hmm. Anyone. I want if I want you. But yeah. most women will play that stuff because you know I don't want you. Mm. Wouldn't let you touch me. Mm. I don't like him like that because you know my presence is intimidating. I require a different type of discipline. Mm. You could look at my body my, and tell that I'm disciplined. Mm -hmm. I never had no surgery. Wow. My partners had surgery. Yeah. Guess what happened to them? They back fat because they didn't discipline themselves to eat correctly. Mm -hmm. It took me longer, but I'm stronger. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Yeah. It wasn't. It's about the discipline. You know, it wasn't easy to, to say I'm not going to have sex. Or when I do have sex, as soon as I'm about to release, I stop. What's the longest you've been without having sex? I still have sex. I just don't release no semen. Mm. Six. Shit, I pointed something last night. <laughs> no, yesterday. I don't not last night, but yesterday. Yeah. I don't do that that uh I don't like to have sex at night. I like when the sun out. Mm. Yeah. The two, three hour session, nothing major. Two, three hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty major. To somebody that's not disciplined. That's just major. That's major to somebody that's not disciplined. A motherfucker that's just not disciplined. No stamina. Mm. That's all. You know, soon I feel like I'm about to release. Hold on, baby. You know, I I knew when you walked in this room with that gal in the water and started stretching. I knew it was about to be different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on. We could pray first while we do this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're a blessing. Wow. No big deal. Yeah. Before we end today, is there anything you want to say? Anything else you want to say? Yeah, when you follow your heart, you always win. And, like, a lot of people, I don't know who I'm speaking to right now, but it's a lot of people out there that's really want to do the right thing, but they put too much on themselves. I ain't just start out no vegan or just no. I did the small stuff. The little things add up to the big things. Like, you start smiling and work your way, mm -hmm. you know? Like, anybody that 
I want to say get into fitness, I start out walking and drinking water. I wouldn't even change my diet. You start walking and drinking more water, you're not even going to be hungry. Because mm-hmm. a lot of time we eat and overeat and have hunger pains because we really be dehydrated. We get our moisture from the food. Our bodies are amazing. So I just say that you, wherever you at in life right now, you on the right path. You where you supposed to be. Don't rush it. Slow and steady. Anything slow be for sure. Anything fast don't last. Mm-hmm. Just you having that intention to want to make those changes. You know you gonna start making them slowly. It's a gradual process. It's like instead of looking at it for a microwave blessing, like I'm gonna throw it in there and bring it out. You know, look at it like you plant a seed. You still got to water and nurture that seed even when you don't see nothing. Even when you see a stick, twig, you know, you still going to be nurturing and nurturing. Then you get the fruit at the end. Mm-hmm. But it's been in a journey. So you so invested in it not to where you. Yeah. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The, the second best time to plant a tree is today. Mm-hmm. So it's never too late to start. Whoever need to hear that, I don't know. I love y'all. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for your time, and thank you. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by today. Thank you. I don't you. know why I said all this. <laughs> I don't even like to talk like this. I don't. But you did. It wasn't me. It was God. Amen. Yep. All right. Thank you. It's Kevin Gates, everybody. <laughs> thank you.